Hey everybody, Theta back again with another Nadia, the secret of blue water. We just got left off with the island glowing around with concentric rings. Parts of it splitting in the middle, especially in the, the dirt sand area where we had... Uh, I don't want to use the R word. Our very pushy date guy was buried up to his head in the sand, is now out. And saying God must favor him, which isn't going to be weird, I'm sure. Um, Jean is in the center of the... I'm going to keep going with a spaceship. I think it's going to be a spaceship. Is in the center of the spaceship. Well, just outside the center. Nadia is in the center of the spaceship. Told him it's all going to be okay before being stripped of her clothes and being admitted into the glowing light. Ah. Sorry, I'm still being thrown by that part of the opening because we've yet to see that. And to be fair, there are eight more episodes after this one, so... A lot to be pushed forwards. And yeah, nobody else knows what's going on but Jean and Nadia right now. I guess the worst thing is that Nadia, already complaining about being cold, is now naked in the cold. You think the blue water is going to be like the memories of her mom or something? Red Noah. Red Noah. That sounds somewhat familiar, but I do also name the episodes on the schedule, so maybe that's just a spoiler I got hit by. How are you cool just being next to that guy still? You've tied yourself in. I like the arrow pointing it out. Look, I love Marie as much as the next person should love Marie. But you're trusting your safety to the sewing skills of a four-year-old? Pretty sure Marie's four years old, right? ジャンとナディアが矢木を探しに行ったあの森ですよ。そういえば、昨日あの山でなんだか変なものにぶつかったよね。私、この島には何か秘密があるような気がするのです。そうか。なかなか are you ever gonna think to go into the You just went back to camp? どうしたんだ。元気出せよ。ナディアはきっと帰ってくるさ。それは心配だろうな。何があったか知らないけどさ。you told them and no one's what? I feel like the um, season or uh, core two of The Witch from Mercury, where they just go back to school. I'm like, you just went back to school after everything that happened? <laughs> So like I said, an extension of her ability or her perceived ability to speak to animals. Aliens? Hey, the part from the opening.
2001 A Space Odyssey. Well, we know that now there's three different locations that could have been cities. Did they fight the dinosaur people? And where did the giant from the underwater come from? The mummified giant. そして in this channel, we just cannot escape the Philosopher's Stone. It's weird that Atlanteans have God and the Devil too. So, no reason to go to uh, Africa now, I guess. Also, you knew that. Maybe not the uh, not a human being part, because I kind of assumed Atlanteans were human beings. But. You knew you were Atlantean. You knew that since the episode you went to Atlantis. Ace in hindsight. The time span. The time span we're working with here, we should have known that they weren't human either. Although we... We were guessing time travel, so... Kick this man in the nuts. No, really. Beat the shit out of him. Thank you. This is the kind of cartoonishness I can be a part of, at least. Duh. You were in there, Jean. You're one of the smart ones. Concerned by the fact that this episode is named Farewell Red Noah. I can only guess that she's going to do something foolhardy. That's the thing I was talking about before, every time. There's this giant hole in the top and a clearly flat artificial structure. Hey, that impervious glass that we saw that Gargoyle keeps making. Yeah, stop before you run into the wall.
Yeah, you wouldn't want the whole fucking tank to be destroyed like this. Oh, neat thrown. アトランティス王国に移れします。アトランティス王国。そうです。でもあの国はもう滅亡して誰もいないところなの。いえ、あなたがいます。俺は To be fair to him, punching it made the same impact as the tank punching it. みんな、この島が異常だってことは知ってるね。うん。詳しいことはわからないけど、一応はね。うん。一応のことでいい。それで十分だよ。この島に流れ着いてから4ヶ月、島は1日1000メートルから多い時で1万メートル東北東の方向
島と一緒に沈んじまうぜ。ナディアを見つけたら、あの船で脱出するから大丈夫さ。I mean, you can go in through the,、uh, the engine hole thing. That was open before. そうでしょ Ah, crap, he was listening to everything we told him. Oh, don't abandon Marie. I know she's not the main character of the show, but she's the heart of this show. Hard to tell by how eloquent she is, but she's just like four years old. Still, it's always good to be right. It was, it was just a giant spaceship covered in dirt and shit. Weird that it tells you you're in control and then doesn't let you do anything. Atlantis Jin no Anata got those to Ningen to Ishoni Kyoto Sumo Deska. Oko no Saikenga Watashi no Negai. So they were Atlantis Jin no Chito Blue Water or Ketsida, Anata de Nakereba de Kinai Kotona no Des. Yayo! Atasio Koko Karadaste! So do that as your mother is to get in a yo! Nadia! Yeah, the water is literally rising up on you, my man. Exactly where I said you should go. アトランティス人の末裔として生まれた運命をですか勝手に決めないで私はこの星で生まれてこの星で育ったのよここに来たのも全部グーグルでああ、ガーゴーは聞こえてくるよ、これはスラップのフェイスとヒムあなたのブルーウォーターが全てを導いているのですみんなブルーウォーターのせいだったの人が争ってたくさんの人間が死んでしまうのも仕方がありませんそれがアトランティス人の末裔として生まれたあなたの運命なのです And the first thing it said was that you're in control. You can decide. And it's literally not letting her decide a damn thing. Not a good sign this place is flooding with water either. You think those are her Atlantean clothes or just clothes that the circus guy gave her? You can't even command it to open the doors? Nadia. <laughs> Is that one of the giants? 
それは一体何ですか自分の運命を拒むほどのものなのですか Going back to the ground is、uh, not a thing but a person or a someone conversation. Ikinasai, Nadia Hi. So come on, no don't know Nara. Anata no Mareta Mach, Tartesos, go on Naikasmas. Tartesos? Blue water, I could make me to such mistake. So any Stanai Nasai. Scash. Anata was even no make Rava no Mare Ramas. またお会いしましょう、プリンセスナディア。But are you gonna stop sinking? Because otherwise you're fucked still. I guess unless you get into one of the Nautilus. I'm going to go to 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 the Nautilus. When would you think it would be okay? This is cute. This is cute beyond the whole embarrassing thing. Yeah, quickly! We're all drowned! Alright, let me put some clothes on. Couldn't command it to give you one of the Nautilus, though, huh? I guess to be fair, you couldn't stop her from trying to drown you either. I guess also at the same time? Dying to this island sinking? Really would have made her escape her fate. Would have proved him wrong, huh? And the eyeball, that is the symbol for everything. I guess Red Noah was our only, like, closest thing to the giant mummified underwater giant, right? I don't. I'm, I'm trying to piece together everything from the past episodes to make it make sense in the current episodes, and sometimes it just doesn't work. In the flashbacks of Atlantean history, we didn't see any giants. But then again, it would have been pre-human civilization as well, and we know that even before the humans, we had intelligent. Uh, humanoid dinosaurs too, because they're frozen in the ice in the Antarctic, which is also weird. Because I don't know where that information. There are world-building elements to this show that I don't know where to put them in my mind. Right? When I'm trying to solve mysteries in other shows, something will always come up, and it will be like, oh. This thing fits in nicely with all of these other facts into this category. And then I can just put it in that category in my mind. And when another thing comes up, I can, like, okay, this fits with that. 
which then incidentally just connects these two other facts together, and boom, now I have a working theory about how this thing in the world works. Why are there smart dinosaurs that went extinct? Did the Atlanteans fight them? Was that what was being indicated to me? That they kept fighting wars and then they wiped out the, the reptilian civilization? Because it really felt like they were saying the Atlanteans fought each other. And that's like, the Atlanteans, their super advanced space people, couldn't get past war. What hope do we humans have? I felt like that was the narrative being expressed to me. But if you told me that they were fighting the smart dinosaurs, that would at least put two bricks of information that I've been told together and would make some sort of sense. I want them to make sense. I need them to make sense. But these two disparate facts could also make sense independently of one another. It's tearing me apart! That was a horrible impression. Oh, God. And then Gaunt Gargoyle's back on his way, which means we have to be getting back to the main plot again. Well, technically, I guess these last two episodes have been part of the main plot. I'm happy that we're done the island arc. That's all I'm going to say there. I'm hoping we find out next what happened to Nemo and Electra and the Engineer and all the other guys. I'm sure that they're not dead. It doesn't feel like that kind of show. I'm sure that they could die. I'm not sure that they would do it off screen in a self-sacrificing survive sort of way. I feel like we're going to see them again. I want to know... Get. I think that's just it. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, this is going to be the last recording I'm doing tonight, which means I've done these in a row, except for 23, which I had to do, you know. So the next time I record, it'll be another set of four or five episodes I'm going to be putting together and trying to get through the uh, story and answer these burning questions I have. But uh, as for now, I've been Theta. It's been another Stoneface Reactions, and I will see you uh, next time. Bye bye Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy? <laughs>